Hello, my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, today we'll do your monthly reading, and this will be for February 2020. As you know, loves, this is a general reading. Might resonate with you, might not. Take it accordingly. Sun, Moon, Rising Science, and Venus Science for the sign of Aries. Let's see here, loves, what we have from the Lenormand cards. What's the message from them? Could be for many of you as an advice, for many of you could be just a message. I have also the wisdom of the oracle and of course the energies from the spirit and from the tarot. But let's see here first the Lenormand cards, what gives to you, what offers to you, and of course how we moving forward. Let's see here, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising Science, and Venus Science for you, loves. All right. Somebody is seeking somebody here. After something ended, definitely somebody is my watching you, or you might watch them after something ended between you two. There is a masculine energy. And ended because there was too many difficulties between you two. Too many problems. But I feel here there is a solution for those problems. And is a solution for coming back even. And I definitely see here, it is a situation here we ended, but it is a new beginning. Aries, you might deal here with a Leo, doesn't need to be that. Or um, I see here... Um, and a chorus. There are definitely many obstacles, many problems, and could end because was too many things between you two. But I definitely see here that could be overcome. Absolutely. Somebody here it is looking for a solution to overcome this. And that could be somebody around you might help you. But you really want this person. And it's somebody who ended a relationship with you. But let's see here, loves. What well, we got from the wisdom of the oracle. And where we're we standing here with the energies. And how we're moving forward. Spirit, give me some insights for the Aries. For the Aries who is watching. For the Aries who needs these messages to hear. And for the Aries who needs deeply guidance here. The fork in the road. Breathe and imagine. For some of you, you starting to build again your life after a break. But I feel here there is a lot of unclear energy. And sometimes it's like you're going back and you cannot find the answer going back and you look again maybe it's forward spirit says take time for yourself and with the breathe image here is take time and reflect get more, get yourself and more more of you in balance get yourself in that balance you need to and do those manifestations. For some of you, you just need to take more actions regards that. Be co-creative here. Definitely. All right. Let's see here, Aries. What's the energies here and how that works for all of you. Spirit, give me some insights for the Aries. For the Aries who is listening these messages, for the Aries who are looking for these messages. If you truly believe, Aries, that this is your reading, I'm very happy because you definitely might get valuable messages from it. If you feel that this is not quite yours, just move along. Also, feel free to seek around. Maybe this month this is not your reading, but the message here might be for you, some of them. But let's see. 
for the lovely Aries. Some predictions come sooner or later, they always do. And with some energy you already have been through and some energies are coming. And when they are coming, as you know, the predictions from the Tarot might even help you to avoid a potential situation. Or when it's coming, you know how to deal with it. King of Pentacles. Again, it's all about ground yourself, getting yourself into your power. For some of you, my deal here with an earth energy. But I feel here also, your work is very important to you at right now. But I see you getting that like, I need balance. I'm looking for balance. It's like you seek balance. Devil. Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. It is somebody here, very insistent person you might deal with. You might be with somebody here in a karmic situation, might have even children with them. Or you are in a binding situation with somebody. This person is not over you. Or vice versa. This person wants to come back. Also, they it's kind of they don't really know what else to do to be with you. They, they're looking for an answer. They're seeking you. Also, if you are don't want them or you break up with them, Aries... They look for you in every person they meet, and it's none of them you. I feel here this person will come back to you again and again and again. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you, could be a Leo. For some of you, I don't know why I hear Aquarius, but I will say it anyway, whatever I do here. Let's see. Somebody here doesn't really know what to do. It's kind of like, I need to make a decision. It's hard to do so. But it's time for you to take time and heal. And then start something, what you feel that you need to. Yes, you are dealing with somebody who you might share children They left you or you left them. They will communicate with you again. They will try to come back to you again. For some of you, you might choose between an earth sign and a water sign. I see also a Libra, I see a Gemini, and I see a Sagittarius. But somebody is stressed out here on what's going on and how they can make it work. But you feel like the effort with this person is, is not really there. Like as much as you can put effort with this person, anyway, it will not work. Also, I see other people involved in here. Could be family members, people who tell you, that I do this because I love you and just because they do love you they need to stay away sometimes for some of you here your partner cheated on you and I see you feel like should I stay and forgive because you can never forget or you just need to move away and I see you right now, like, I do me, you might be very focused on your work, or to get balance regards finances. But I feel here, this person who you are dealing, they are very conflicted. And it's kind of, they want to make it work. But you realize that this person will not change their ways. 
they will try to come to you again. You need to make a choice, loves. Aries. You need to make a choice. But again, you have somebody very good coming towards you and offers you something awesome. And this could be somebody you were looking for a long time or you wanting for yourself for the long time. Although the other person, they will try to you again, to come again, trying to talk to you again. But I see you are in a healing process here. It's kind of you and your own world. And you'll try to reflect with that fork in the road what to do. Because you know that will not be easy to get away from who you are right now. For many of you, you are in a karmic energy with who you are and that is something else and the karmic debts as you always know they are heaviest from all the times yes you are with this person you are with somebody right now okay you are with somebody where you try to get over that person and also for a small percentage of you you could be the third party but that person is with somebody else and it's hard for you to be with this person because you do love them but you feel like is not giving you love it's more a heartache giving to you And that person might tell you, I will leave my spouse or whatever they will do. For those of you who are the third party, that person might promising you things, but they I don't see them leaving. And I see them lying. For those of you who you are married with this person, this person could put you in a third party. And you do, it, it's like... You are right now, you are at that point like, I don't know what to do. But you do have a new beginning. In a very short time, but you feel like things are, are not going the way it is. I don't know why this Knight of Swords is in reverse. But you know, if you choose something to let into your life, that will be awesome. Because I feel here you you are not really wanting the situation to continue this way. It's like continue for too long. Could be a year, could be two years. And now you are just like done and over with it. It's like I'd rather be by myself than be with you. Could be a work situation happens. Yes. We have all the threes. Definitely here it is a third party. And definitely could be a work situation. You might not knew from the start that this person was committed. Or this person was, you know, with you and with somebody else. Because I don't feel you... You knew at the first time... And you thought this person is serious when they first came into your life. And over the time you find out they are true colors, they are true face. And could if it's a work situation and is a co-worker of yours and is married that person, that person might tell you that they cannot leave their family because of the kids but that's BS 
and they will give you a cold shoulder. I say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for sure with Earth in the chart or an Earth sign with air in the chart. Somebody here could lie that is married or if they've been married with you, they lied that they stepped away with somebody else. Like they, they break your trust here and you just want to be done with this Scorpio energy. You want to be done and you want a healing, you want something new for yourself, you want to feel like everybody who's coming towards you, it is somebody who offers you something you don't really want it. I see you taking your time. And you're walking away. I don't see you accepting any offers at this time. It's just because I feel here you, it's kind of I'm fedding up with whatever it is. And right now I need healing. I need to get myself back to life. Yes, definitely. I see you in a healing process. You're working on your money, on your finances. There is some regrets because I feel here you truly believe that this person was the one. But now it's kind of like, yes, I was wrong. It's okay. It is what it is. But it's kind of you stop this. Whatever it is, whatever drama is here, you, Aries, are stopping it. That person who you are dealing, they they have a lot of baggage, but I don't feel they recognize their mistakes, okay? And I feel here you do know, and you wish to not be in the situation anymore with that person, or to engage with them, although... I feel here you will, will overcome this. You definitely will. Because you're manifesting something new. What I do see here, you, you find out here, because people were gossiping back and forth, or you find by mistake whatever this person been done. It's kind of through your back or something like that. And now, even they come... And whatever they offer you are very like what this is about right now. It's you dealing Aries with somebody very insistent. That is their behavior. Always, always. My way or no way kind of. But don't deal with an Aries because an Aries if tells you no, it is a no. And whatever offer this person offers you, you are just like, nope, I am a big no. For many of you, you might meet by the end of this year. Okay? Could be 10 months from now. 10, no, 10 weeks. 10 months, as we speak right now. There is new love coming in here. Okay, absolutely, but what I do see here, you really love this person, but I don't see you taking this person. I ask about new love here for all of you, Aries, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's coming new love after this separation you have, and it's somebody here who want to put into work for you. And that person is a single person. That person doesn't have baggage. Okay? I see very good energy comes towards you because I feel here you do manifest here with this magician. You do manifest new love. But this earth sign will try again and again and again. Here you are. 
I feel here you will fall in love and you will get new love. It's it's some somewhere at the distance or could be a, a one lion thing, but I definitely see here it is somebody who will offer you a stable commitment. Okay, because this is the advice for you and what's coming and I see the Emperor and Empress here. It's like after whatever happened to you, with whoever happened to you, there is coming new love here. The only ace is missing in your reading is the ace of swords. What do you truly want? Be honest with yourself. What is that thing you really want? Because this person who is coming towards you is no joke. They do want a commitment with you. Could be a soulmate, could be a twin flame. But it is a good opportunity for you. Because I feel here you both will fall in love. Even over the hills of each other. It's even a... It's like within one year, if you accept this new love, you could be even married. Or find out that you are in a commitment with this person. And I feel here is a very good opportunity to be that way. For those of you singles, I see here is a very good opportunity. So if you waited for the right one, it is coming. Okay, for some of you, you leave something, something or someone behind. That person will try come back to you. Because I definitely see here, they will come back. But I don't see it very, very good with that person. Because I feel here, you will end that heartbreak. That is not serving you anymore. It's kind of like... I will be open to talk to you, but I'm not really open to you, because I don't see you open. You're just holding back. And going back with the energy, you'll feel like, look how I've been feeling when I've been in the commitment with you, or in the relationship, or in the connection with you, very much left out. Very much like orphaned. Because I feel here for, for many of you who've been with somebody who put you in a third party or involved you in a third party. You feel very much like not valued at your true feeling or not valued like a, a, at your own energy. So feeling this way is the worst way. Many of you, you feel more as a single than with somebody when you've been with that person. Even they will come back to you. So, Aries, I will congratulate you to choosing you and choose to understand because judgment sometimes is to understand what is a purpose. What's the purpose in all this? And what you deserve for yourself. What do you want for yourself? What you are entitled to have? And I definitely say here, you made the right choice. And you made the right person. And once you choose you and your better energy, you meet the one. And you are about to meet the one. So yes, loves, this is what I got for this month. I hope you enjoy it and resonating with you. And I thank you for each of you who are here, who join the channel, who subscribe, who like it, who comment. Many blessings to all of you all this month. And we'll see you next time. Bye, loves.